Hello everyone and welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. If you follow my channel, you know that I planted some Venus flytrap seeds back in October. It's been almost 90 days and I wanted to show you what it looks like with a few updates from germination all the way up to seeing some small Venus flytrap shaped plants. This video should help you identify if your seedlings are actually Venus flytraps and what they look like during the very young stages of development. After this video is over, you'll see a video pop up on the screen. This is a video that can help you identify Venus flytrap seeds and help you understand my process for planting the seeds. It's definitely worth checking out, so make sure and stick around at the end so that you can jump over and watch that video. I'm also going to discuss what I've been doing for care at the end of this video, so make sure to stick around. I'm trying to answer all the questions that I can think of. If I don't answer your question, throw it in the comments and I'll try my hardest to reply to it as soon as I can. Okay, everything that you've been watching up to this point was actually back on October 13th. My methods are pretty simple and straightforward. I'll give you a quick overview. I bought the seeds from someone I trusted. No cold stratification is needed with these seeds. I basically put the seeds on top of the substrate and began growing them. I'll touch more on how I specifically cared for them at the end of the video, so make sure and stick around. If you want to see more about this process, click the video that pops up at the end. Let's go ahead and move on to the updates. It's 18 days later and we have our first green. The seeds are starting to germinate. It only took about two and a half weeks. There really isn't anything here to identify yet, just small green sprouts popping out of the dark black seeds. At this point, you can't really identify them as you don't really have any defining characteristics. As a matter of fact, if you just glance at the pots, you wouldn't even see that there's anything going on. You have to get really close and focused to even really see the green sprouts popping up. Okay, now we're looking at about 10 days after the last update and about a month after these seeds have been planted. The seedlings are taking a little more shape, though still not easily identified as Venus flytraps. When growing, Venus flytraps will have two small leaves that shoot out the bottom of the seed. It almost looks like arms stretched straight up over a head, touching their palms together. You can see the seedlings that are further along have two leaves that come down to the side and something is starting to pop up in the middle. There's a lot more green now and they're a lot more fun to look at and watch grow. Before we jump into the 42 day update, let's check out how you can get your hands on your very own Venus flytrap or some other amazing carnivorous plants. I'm so excited to be teaming up with California carnivores. They are one of the most experienced and knowledgeable carnivorous plant nurseries in the entire world. They have a massive selection year round of all types of carnivorous plants. There will definitely be something in their nursery that you fall in love with. On top of that, they have been generous enough to offer my viewers an exclusive 10% discount on their order when they enter Bug Eater at checkout. That's B-U-G-E-A-T-E-R, Bug Eater. I have links in the description and the pinned comment so you can head on over and pick out the perfect carnivorous plant to add to your collection. You know you deserve it. Let's go ahead and head on back to the video. Thank you so much for taking a look at that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next update here. It's been about two weeks since the last update and about 42 days since the seedlings have been planted. Finally, they're starting to take some shape. The third leaf that you saw popping up in the middle on the last update was the first trap starting to form. I took some photos at this stage so you can see the little trap better. You can see the trap taking shape and even forming cilia or lashes already. Soon, these small traps will open and be ready to function just like an adult Venus flytrap. They're very tiny and incredibly cute. You can also see that some are growing traps already, but there are several that are behind and still just starting to germinate and grow. This is perfectly normal. Not every seed is going to grow at the same rate. If you only have one or two germinations in a pot, don't worry. There's a chance that the next couple of weeks, a few more will pop up. If you're enjoying this content or finding it useful, please pour some water on my like button and hit subscribe to help my channel grow. I'm trying so hard to start my own carnivorous plant nursery someday and you being here watching these videos helps me so much. Liking, subscribing, commenting, and even just watching the video to the end really helps boost my videos. I know time is precious, and I really appreciate that you've chosen to spend some of your valuable time with me today. All right, and now it's time for the most recent update. It's been 38 days since the last update, and now 81 total days since I planted the seedlings. They're finally starting to really take shape and even color up some. They now look just like small Venus flytrap plants with every leaf producing a flytrap head that's open and ready to gobble some small insects. It's winter here and I don't have any gnats right now, but if I did, even at this size, these flytraps are capable of catching tiny prey. The last time I grew a batch of seeds, I did have some fungus gnats that were flying around. It was almost shocking how functional they are at such a small size. I searched around hoping to find that some of them had caught some small prey, but so far I haven't been able to find anything yet. Now that you've seen all the updates, let's talk a little bit about care. I kept a humidity dome on top of my flytraps until I felt that they had all germinated and sprouted their two leaves. At about 40 days or so, I removed the top and allowed the light to hit them directly. I keep the tray of water full all the time, which is different than how I would water a full-grown Venus flytrap. For full-grown flytraps, I like the subject to dry out just a little bit between waterings. For seedlings, they stay in the water all the time. 
I'll cut back the water a bit once they hit six months or so. At that point, I'll start caring for them exactly like I would care for an adult Venus flytrap. They've been under my Barina grow lights for about 12 hours a day. The top of the flytraps are about 10 inches from the lights. I'll move them closer in a few months before I decide to take them outside. In spring, I'll slowly introduce them to the sun and harden them off. I'll acclimate them slowly until they can stand to be in as much sun as I can provide them for my area. If you're interested in hearing more about the Barina grow lights, I do have a full in-depth review and installation guide. Check out that video in the description and pinned comment. For soil, you can check out my original planting video, but it's really just a mix of peat, perlite, and silica sand. For more information on that mix, you can definitely go check out that video. I do have a little more details there, but that's really kind of the gist of it. These are grown indoors 100% of the time for now as it's cold and snowy outside where I live. They're kept in my grow tent with lights on a timer. I have a fan that is in the same timer as my lights for airflow during the warmer periods. I also monitor my grow tent with my Gobi hydrometers. With my Gobi hydrometer, I can track the highs and lows in temperature and humidity. Temperatures typically range from 73 degrees Fahrenheit as a high down to 63 degrees Fahrenheit as a low. The Gobis are great. I can easily see at a glance on my phone data regarding my tent conditions. I can look at the day, hour, week, or even months and years. You can even export the data in Excel to really dig in. I have a link in the description for these hydrometers. They really make my life so much easier. I don't recommend trying to grow seedlings outdoors if your temperatures are too hot or cold. Midsummer and winter are actually really bad times to try to grow Venus flytrap seedlings outdoors. If during the summer, I wouldn't allow them to sit outside in heat above 90 degrees Fahrenheit for very long. This young, they're a little more sensitive to extreme amounts of sun. The seedlings will not be as tolerant to sun as your fully grown, hardened off Venus flytraps. They can be grown outside if done in the spring, while temperatures are still fairly mild. The benefit of growing outside is they won't need to be hardened off, as they'll already be acclimated to the sun. The con of growing them outside is you have little control over the weather and temperature. It's also important to keep in mind that when using a humidity dome, the temps inside the dome will be much greater than the temps outside. You definitely don't want to try and grow them outside if your temps are below 60 degrees Fahrenheit, as they do much better in warmer temps, so the winter is typically off limits as well. I haven't done any fertilizing yet, but I do plan on spraying these with a diluted Maxi mix. I'll definitely do a video when the time comes showing my exact process for that, and it's going to be pretty soon. So make sure and subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when I release that video. I might even conduct some fertilizing tests with this batch of seedlings since I'm fairly new to fertilizing Venus flytraps. I'll probably fertilize two of the pots and monitor the growth, just to get an idea of how well the diluted mix I'm using is working. I've already received the Maxi fertilizer and just need to start mixing and spraying the fly traps. Keep your eyes open for that video. Overall, I'm really happy with how the growth is so far. I'm excited to continue to document this journey and bring you updates. Whether they succeed or fail, I'll definitely keep you in the loop. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get alerted when I bring you another update regarding these seedlings. Thank you so much for visiting today and I really hope to catch you in my next video. Bye!